Hi, I'm Natasha Lockhart. It's the season of Cupid and Hearts and all that. We have love stories to share. I'm Aquadanes. It's always a good day to go shopping. And we did just that. And I'm Stacy Beck. We'll meet a couple that has a long love story to tell. All this and more coming right up on our Valentine's edition of Studio Chatter. Welcome to Studio Chatter. How are we doing? Oh, good, good. So amazing. It's been a great week. Yes. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. Just been hanging out. You know, now that I'm like free from, You're you home. know, the clutches. Yes. The clutches of employment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I've been so what able have you to been doing? De-junk. I have, I still have three kids at home that were homeschooling and cooking. Okay. Further Are ahead, you, it's been so, great. So, like, so do you have the schedule down I pat do. this week? Yeah, so. um, pretty much, because we're we're still using the curriculum. Okay. So I have the books for that, and so they kind of, it's. I didn't realize how much paper was involved, and mm. so they kind of know from math to logic to computers to you know. Okay. Throughout the day, and so I'm trying to squish it between four and five hours, and then. That's right. Just going to ask us how. Yeah, how, four to five hours. I think it's a lot, and then you know we go out somewhere to the park to get some. Wow. Air. Yeah, but it's kind of really scheduled. Good for you. Because yeah, I think that would probably be the hardest thing to, like, stick to the routine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get up. up I know. Yeah, like, still yeah. get showered. If it's showered, only four or five like, hours, sleep in. Mm-hmm. I get up at sleep in. Yeah, hell yeah. No. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish I could do that. So yeah. I mean, but I think it would be difficult to transition, excuse me, transition because... Mm. You know, when you're very used to waking up early and getting in a car and and going, you know, to to fall out of routine. Yes. And speaking of, you know, staying in bed and this lull of, you know, (laughs) dreariness, you know, you know, we kind of talk. Yes. I mean, I'm just excited to move into February. February. You know, it just seems like January is this long, (laughs) drawn out wait. And are you guys so happy, like, when the clock is, it hits 530 and you look Look outside and it's still light. I'm like, you are yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Been good. Well, and you know, somebody was saying the other day, like, oh, you know, that we keep our tree up all month long in January, and really? it's so nice to just carry over that spirit of Christmas. That, that's like, not a real tree, is I'm it? I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? All the needles will be done. Like, I literally <laughs> cannot wait. Like a day or two after Christmas, I'm like, and you're coming clean it down. Out. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the lights. I really do like having lights. I would put lights out all the time. I mean, I think room. it's I, it could be nice yeah. to a degree, and I know some yeah. people even carry over the Valentine hearts and mm-hmm. the lighting and the colors. I think you're, I just you're, no, no. I, that's not. Yeah. I couldn't. Do I you just, guys have any fun things in February planned? No, not really. Not really. But yeah, no. Adjusting. You? You're you're. I'm adjusting. adjusting. That's right. We're adjusting. Natasha, <laughs> what's your February plan? Yeah. Plans? So. February is a big month for us. So we have we have a birthday, we have an anniversary, we oh. have a Disneyland trip. So we yes, we we'll have live we, through Natasha. Yeah, That's there right. you go. Yeah, so we, yes. we do. We have a lot nice. on our plate. February is a big month for us. So we are oh. going to go down to the St. George Parade to Homes. Take the oh. kids down there. We've never done it. I've How always wanted fun. to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And our um, company is publishing the Parade to Homes magazine, so I mm-hmm. thought let's go down and check it out. So Ooh, for nice. President's Day we're doing that. Kind of warm and hopefully. Right. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Well, a uh, warmer. It'll be warmer than whatever it is it up is. here. So there was there was a little something, you know, how we have our little, you know, whether it's local or national or our little bucket list of things that we oh, like yes, to do. Oh, yes, that we always talk about. Um, so Sundance is going on yes. around us as well. So mm-hmm. that's that's one thing that I would love like to, add, to that. add to my bucket list, especially knowing now that Zac Efron was in town. <laughs> so, yeah, sad that I missed that this year. Um, but something that I passed recently, the creamery. Mm-hmm. You you said that you had gone there um, locally. Is it on the way to down south? Oh, yes, in Beaver? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that it was closed when we drove home the last time we went south. Oh, really? Because it was a Sunday or something. But oh, okay. I, would, I would like to, to do that maybe yeah, the that's next a time. So, they, yeah. They're in a new location, so mm-hmm. it's so cool. 
So we are going to stop there on our way to St. George was, and get our cheese say, curds I and if we, I, will, cheese. I will not eat cheese curds. Yuck, 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 oh, yuck. No, my husband and kids just down that. Oh. They'll buy like three bags. Oh. I had a yeah, they bad love them. experience wow. on a fish trip when I was little, <laughs> so I don't do the squeaky cheese, but I like cheese otherwise. So, so you'll... Mm-hmm. What about skiing? Are you skiers? Oh, snowmobiler. We've been uh-huh. going up to um, Logan. My in-laws live up there, and so... Okay. My husband loves, he's bought some older model snowmobiles, and so we go snowmobiling, and it's that's some fun. really beautiful places, yeah, yeah that's up a in fun Northern thing. Logan, yeah. I and have not been skiing since I was in high not school. Skiing, though. <laughs> Me neither. So yeah. I feel like there's so many beautiful places to ski yeah. and take advantage of, and, you know, so we talk about all the, you know, there's this big freeze going on mm-hmm. in, the, in the Midwest and in the, you know, nationwide and all these horrible, you know, freezing and temperatures, here. Yeah. but here, you know, we really should be taking advantage of some of this. You know, beautiful have ski country. Either of you guys been up to midway to the ice castles? Yes, not this year. Last but you've year. been before. Yeah, not this year. Okay, I was thinking yes. of going. Is it worth yeah. it? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yes. To do one. Definitely go and dress up warm. But just okay. oh, yes, dress, up dress warm. warm. Take the little heat warmers. Yeah. Okay, in your pockets and your <laughs> that toes. That's so cold. Cover, and cover <laughs> okay, all. See? The, cover just all the extremities. So but that just makes me not want to get cold. Yeah, I do too. But there's so much to see, and by the end. You're, you're freezing. Yeah, if you're not dressed I well. hear they have donuts and hot chocolates yeah, in there. They do. And that's good. They yeah. do. So you have yeah. to go and, and you have to sing. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Well, I can't. Have your el- you will have your else a moment. Okay. You if I go, it. I'll report yeah. back. That's right. Yeah, yes. you exactly. definitely we'll take some should. pictures yeah, and really report nice. back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so. so take a good camera with a flash. It can be the okay. winter blahs <laughs> here. It can be the winter blahs or you can just make the most of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Last year, this week, we were in Hawaii. Oh. So and our friends are there, and you always do Hawaii. We always do, in but we're not and this not. year. No, I think uh, I think we're gonna go spend some time with uh, our buddy Chip. You are. I think in Waco. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I Yay. think we're gonna go to uh, Waco in April this year instead oh. for a ten year. See, I think that's on my bucket list, yeah. but it's on yours as well. Well, you I can want come you to go. With us. I want you to go and report back. <laughs> go to the the plantation yeah. house. Yeah, It'll be yeah. All kinds. Okay. Of fun. Good luck. I'll let you know. Okay. All right. I think it's going to be a good show. Yep. All kinds of love and yes. things like that. Okay. Well, coming up next on Studio Chatter, we're going to show off our new clothes. Stay with us for the fashion show. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. We sure do love to visit with our friends at Mia's Boutique. Welcome Marcy Peterson, the owner of Mia's, to the program. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank yeah. you. It's been way too long. Yeah. Yeah. We, yes. we love to shop. And we I do. love to shop too. <laughs> and it's and like, I'd love to dress you guys. It's my yes. favorite thing. Thank Bye. you for yeah. dressing us. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's start over here. Yeah. Yeah. With, start with Stacey. Yep. I chose this shirt because it is a good transi- transition shirt. Yes. For winter to spring, mm-hmm. it's super lightweight. I could totally pull it off, I think, in summer even. Yeah, and dress and, it up or dress it down yeah, also. I could put like a jacket over it, wear it with a skirt or pants. Mm-hmm. And I love the detail on the sleeve. The right sleeve there. is so cute. I, I love those sleeves. Yeah, I do too. As long as it's not long enough that okay. you're dragging it into, you know, on your yeah, food. There yes. you go. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Love it. Good length. Thank Good. you. So, I've got this sweater, and I love it. I just put it on a new... I know, it was perfect. Yeah, the colors and the sleeves. Because actually, my sleeves are... Yeah, they're really here. Yeah, because you have, like, really really long arms, and it was nice, and it actually fit. Mm -hmm. And we... How many things did we put on you, and... Like, yeah, no, there were some things no. that just said that one. Yes, that well, was well, it. Yeah. That's yours. Yeah. And it's not super heavy. No, either. it's no, not. So you can right. wear it. Oh, yeah. Clear yeah. till, I mean, here, clear till May. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I've even put something on underneath. So yeah, you I could. Need to, yeah. I have to stand for this my, one. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because of the detail on this one. Loving. How does Natasha little... find, like, such Thank her you. style wherever we go? Like, I would never choose that. Well, she didn't for me. And I, you picked oh, it. Yeah, 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 I said, 
Natasha, because she is so much more petite yeah. that I was like, this is perfect for the I length like of the her body. I like the word she just chose for you. Petite. petite. She's petite. No, she didn't choose short. Oh, no, she's definitely <laughs> not short. <laughs> she's petite through hair. Yeah. yeah. I'm but just kidding. A short. Well, I have it a, is a because us torso. torso. Have long mm-hmm. torso so yeah. we could but I do love out. I love the fringe detail mm-hmm. and I love that it's a little chunky, but it does have a little bit of the air holes. Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of light, so I'm not super. I hate anything that gets up okay. here on my toes. So yeah, I'm not the neck and nice. it's so you. Yeah, it's totally Lovely. you. Thank you. And I love and yours. Yours. And Yes, and where it's a little bit lo- looser blouse, you can mm-hmm. tuck it in the front. It's kind of. You know, okay. in the back. I love the colors. And I love the colors. Mm. Yeah, This good is like colors. the new colors for the spring. Okay. Mm. And it's, what is this material? It's yeah. almost like, like linen. rayon, but linen. But it's oh, not linen it's because not linen, it's not no. um, wrinkly. Right. Like yeah. linen. I don't know. It's kind of a different material. It's but it's super stuff, but soft it's, yeah, and it's nice. really really thin <laughs> is it yeah. I love it love it and what kind of jeans and then these are rock revival so of course oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the pairs I mean the jeans that we actually um, have in our store yeah with three other brands two which are models you'll see a little bit later that um, that we brought okay so you can nice. see those too very so good nice. love those what about all the treasures yeah. here yes let's talk treasures. about some of the accessories the this? fedora hats mm-hmm. those are great Thanks. great price ten dollars ten dollars yes oh, it looks beautiful la la. okay and nice. you gave you yes. gave us these bracelets love yeah. the bracelet so um we have tons of different bracelets and they all have a saying on them mm-hmm. so they're engraved on yes. the top they come in three different metals so rose gold gold and silver and like this one's for love um for valentine's and these are ten dollars they're ten dollars this so is nice. like a great yeah and i love it because it has the clasp yeah. Mm-hmm. oh yeah and then we do all the gift wrapping so you come in okay, we gift perfect. wrap it super easy pay attention men yeah, yeah pay attention <laughs> this is the other thing when we do our own cards okay for valentine's for the uh, guys so it's super easy they come in natasha has that i the love chocolate, this they one, get yeah, a chocolate yeah. covered cinnamon bears um mm-hmm. bag to give to their wife plus um a card for free plus a gift wrapping oh, wow so nice. they buy whatever so they can buy a clothing, clothing or a gift, a gift card, card and then they get to choose oh, out of all the different okay. cards that we have and then they get a bag so Already. the whole kit and caboodle yeah that's awesome. and that's all oh, free that's wonderful. did you okay. make these um, no, Morgan and Malia <laughs> made those. Oh, so amazing. Yeah, I love they these. made them. Those hand scrunchies are in again. Can you believe it? Were these mm-hmm. in the 70s or 80s? <laughs> or 90s? 90s. Was it 90s? Was Come it 90s? On. 90s. 80s. 80s. Late 80s, 80s early 90s. Early 90s. Yes. Oh, that makes sense. So they're early back. 90s. Don't take it up. Yeah. $5. <laughs> $5 so, for a scrunchie. So yeah. Oh, so perfect. And they're perfect, great perfect. to have. I love they're stylish. And they are a gem to like just really like help with those. Up to so mm-hmm. cute. It really does. It really like for your daughter. Yeah, mm-hmm. put it up there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's well, let's really see what nice. your models brought. Okay. Because all your spring stuff just came in today. Yeah, I did. Like, it was how actually, perfect. I know. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. Like Talk about room. spring fever. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what they have. It's my favorite time of year. Other than Morgie has um, our sweater on, which I love. And, you know, I Look have a grandbaby coming. Yeah, that's is. exciting. I know. Yes. A grandbaby coming, and she still has. Um, room to grow in that sweater and I love it because it is not the whole shirt underneath so if you can oh. see it it's mock so you don't have it oh, all the way up with the collar so cool. it's so wonderful because then you're not dying of heat and then right. she's got our Rolls Royce jeans on they're our number one selling jeans and they're so cute and look they fit you know at yeah. seven and a half months pregnant so they're a rubber band wow. stretch, mm-hmm. so they have a really tight, I mean, like a really nice stretch in them. Okay. And we have them in what? Seven different denims and, and colors, black. Eight, eight different colors, colors and, and women. The color is back this year. Okay. So let's awesome. let's yeah. talk about for just a moment for any for any women that might be expecting and and wanting to go back to their jeans after the fact are you adding any type of extender are you dropping them a little bit lower nothing so yeah because awesome. the stretch okay so, and, wow. and they're done up too yeah, they are but- and they're she's in the same exact size as what she was oh in oh my yeah. gosh nice. so they are wow. really nice mm. and what brand is that again the they're the rubber band stretch, the rubber band stretch. Yeah. yeah i have a couple of those yeah, yeah. awesome okay, perfect. looking good and then, 
And then my cousin Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Hi, how are you guys? She has on um, our newest collection because everyone wants the ripped. Yes. jeans and then the cute hem at the bottom love that and the price point is so good on those those are 38 dollars no way yeah, yeah they really? are really mm -hmm. and they're the kind of mid-rise and then the so sneak peek they're oh, really nice they're not, jeans okay yeah. they're in between yeah and we do have some higher rise for the younger girls that want them clear up but mm -hmm. yeah and then cute sweater on three or four pair yeah Oh, the sweater is so cute. And is then, that the one you yes. tried yeah, on? Yeah, Natasha tried on the red one. So yes. there's the sweater, and I love it because you can wear that year round. You can it's, put on a it's cute. Not thick. It's, it's you can put on a cute jacket with it in yeah, the winter no. leather jacket like she had on before and it's it looks darling I think you should go back and buy it Natasha I just might have to yeah the and red yeah. one how much how much stretch did these jeans have they they're not as stretch as yeah the they're not but they're mm -hmm. not Stiff. Okay. So the rubber band is like true to size. You mm -hmm. get your exact size is what you do, which is nice because they're not really junior sizes. Those I I feel like you had to go up one size. Okay. Okay. Because they don't have that stretch. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I love the rubber band stretch how they are because they don't won't overstretch themselves. Yeah. If you've noticed. Yeah. I, I almost really like felt them. like I could down, go down a size just because yeah. you could you, can, you huh? could yeah because you yeah. had a little bit of give but mm -hmm. you know by the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. So, love those jeans. Okay. Anyway, so the new things are out. All these. Oh, oh careful. <laughs> I guess Morgan's going to pick it all up careful, and bring it Morgan. on out here. Um, so there's a lot of new stuff, and she can just hurry and go through, like, oh, the cute. skirts with the yeah. buttons. There's the two different colors, and you can pair it. Um, then we were pairing Lots this with this darling skirt. And the biggest, uh, the big thing this year is the buttons. And, like, I don't know if you've seen the detail. Uh, Morgan, show the skirt again. With the side mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. oh, like a wrap around. Yeah, like a wrap around, but back it's not. Day, yeah, back yeah. in the day, but it's not really wrap around. It's oh. really cute. So anyway, kind of a faux. Yeah, and I love okay. that yeah. look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you've got the baseball tee, and then just you know a, a basic striped mm -hmm. shirt. Um, it's longer, so it's nice. Yeah, so it's not cutting you off. Little detail. Yeah, them. the detail. Like ribbed. Mm -hmm. And then you have. The oh, jumper with, that's cute. yeah, and it's got it, their pants, so it's the jumpsuit. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's so nice. cute. Oh, and overalls. Yeah, overalls. I know. Seen that. I, I know. It, on those. It's so oh. cute. So that's the same brand as the jeans that Shannon has on. So oh, they're okay. really cute on. And then we've got some longer tees, just plain tees. Oh, okay. You know, and they're um. Oh, the stripe the giving them a little bit of box. detail. Yeah. 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 And then I love like this dress, oh, the linen pretty. like that's more that's like the cute. linen dresses with the pockets. Um, it's super easy to pair it with. Mm. You can wear a high boot or just a little shoe with that in the summer. Mm. Mm -hmm. and oh, what's the color? What's that color? It's like it, a clay. It kind was of called red. like rose. Rose. Yeah, oh, I that's like what, it. That's what yeah. the color was on. Then I love the buttons and the detail on that green mm -hmm. um, dress. Oh, it's cute. Oh, fun. And then like a little striped shirt in the back, but you can actually wear it longer mm -hmm. and put it just like a pair of like moto leggings with it. Okay. It'd be really yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. Pair of vans or whatever you want yeah. to mm -hmm. dress it down or dress it up. So those are just a cool. few um, collections that we got today that are, nice. I think, wow. are really Wow. Yes, yeah, so you've been busy Great. opening boxes yeah. Yeah, all day long. Fun. Yeah. So I have a question. Yeah. Because my girls tell me. The knee-high boots are no longer in. Are they kind of out right now in? Does it matter? You know, I don't think they are. Because if you go to Freebird, where they're, you know, three or $400 boots, most mm -hmm. of them are the knee-high. Mm -hmm. If you go really? there. But they're not, they've got to be more with, like, the the fun leather, different detail on them, mm -hmm. if you've been there. Mm -hmm. That's the only store I've actually seen the higher boot. Yeah, it seems like the booties are more in right oh, now. Oh, yeah, definitely the booties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also, with the jeans that Shannon's wearing, with yeah. that detail on the bottom, Yeah. I usually see women wearing heels. Are they also going to look good with flats or Keds or Nikes? Yeah, I would wear it with all of them. I okay. Mean, and even the half boots. And even with the asymmetrical line yeah. on it, you can actually cuff it up too. So then you'll have the cuff going oh. up a different way if you have a if you have a higher boot on. I don't think that flip way. it. Yeah, yeah, I always do. I always just flip it up. Oh, okay. If I'm wearing a certain boot that I want to show the boot off, then you can just do that too. Oh, okay. That's and I well you do I, that I think too. so too. And yeah. I think especially from my height, 
I, I usually always wear it probably with something that's a little higher just because I have to with yeah, the heel, with the, yeah, with like the heel or, too, or, mm-hmm. yeah, or to Shannon's show it off. Feet. But I'm, I'm all about different cuts on the bottom or I showing up. I love like your I love, fringe. Yes, your anything fringe, fringe or oh, any, yes, asymmetrical. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. or anything that's embellished. So, okay. Well, I think some of my favorite things that I've seen, I, I really am loving these bracelets. Yeah. I have mm-hmm. a lot of bracelets and I just put this on for the first time tonight and I was like, you don't hey, know what's on, huh? Totally don't know. And it's so feminine. And they're so, I mean, we have stuff for breast cancer. We have, I mean, sayings for everything. Oh. Like I just had our friend just bought, you know, for her retreat, 75 of Soul Sisters. Oh, so we do yeah. do bulk orders. Okay. So if you see something in the store you want, I mean, come in and. I can try like crazy to get it okay. in, in the quantity. All right. And, and I love that you've stacked yours. Yeah. And you know what? Usually I'll stack all the th- all the different colors of metals, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all the different sayings. Yeah. Cool. Love yes. That's so nice. And Thank you're you. in the store a lot. If anybody I ever am. needs suggestions yeah. or if you have something on yep. and you're like, that's right, that's wrong, that's... Yeah, I love it. I love to dress people all day long. Okay. Marcy, mm-hmm. remind everyone where you are because you're so conveniently located yeah. where we want to go eat lunch. Yes, you are, right? <laughs> right over <laughs> by Costa Vida. Yeah. And I'm in between Costa Vida and Sprint. Perfect. And we're at 589 East, 1000 North in Spanish Fork. So we're located over by Costco in the new... I can say it new, but we've almost been there six years in July. Wow. Yeah. Congrats. So we've been yeah. there for a long time. Location yeah. and is our, everything. This is our third time on here. And we yes. love you guys. Yes. Yes. Be you. you. Dress you. Be you. Yes. Dress you. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks you, Marcy. so much. Thank you. More Valentine's Talk coming right up. Don't go away. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. So, Galentine's Day is February 13th. Mm-hmm. So, you're in charge. <laughs> what are we going to do? Ooh. Okay. So, I good. don't love to cook, but I love to bake. So, I'd have you over. Yes. And okay. bake. Okay. And chat. Okay. Because I think women, like I've never been to a therapist, and I think it's because I love to be with my girlfriends. Yeah. It's mm. so therapeutic and fun to laugh. It is. I just like lighten your load and at the stage of life where you guys are at, mm-hmm. what you need to escape. But then mm. my stage too, just those relationships. So I love the idea. I've never mm-hmm. done a Galentine's. Right. Yeah. But that's right. what I would do. I'd have have you over for some baked goods and okay. I yeah. would have definitely a karaoke machine or a com- comedy Ooh, hour. That's I what like I that. Well, you're a lot and, funner. Oh, my goodness. That's what I would love. That's what I'd like to actually start. But um, And then we all just have... Everyone has to bring um, something funny that occurred. Just think oh, about it whilst, you know... Awesome. Ooh. Kind of a pre-prepared thing, you know? Okay. And then we would eat... Could we eat chocolate there? Absolutely. Ghirardelli? Would, yes. Okay. Oh, no. Um, what's my other favorite? I thought Ghirardelli was your favorite. No, I like that one, but what's the... the Godiva? Ultimate? Godiva. Yes. Oh. I mean, yes. chocolates of the gods, and I'm a goddess. <laughs> oh, so, right. I like it. We Thank are. Pete. We so, are. So Pete but brought this these goodies for us to oh. try tonight. So we have the Ghirardelli duet heart. So well, there's nothing like you. That's right. Absolutely. Try those. And then we have the dove chocolates. How are those? Good ones. Natasha, what would you do if you had a party? So I love your idea um, Mm. with the cookies. And I'll tell you why I love that idea. Because I don't bake. Um... So but I would, would well, it. what I would love to learn to do actually is not the baking part, but the decorating part. Mm. Like because I don't know how to decorate cookies at mm. all, so mm. that would be super fun mm. and just so. But I think maybe a combination of cookie decorating with some karaoke oh. and um, comedy hour. But yeah, you know, that. but then I don't know. Wait, just a bunch of everything. I think it would be fun to do like a, a clothing swap. Mm. So, you know, bring mm. some... No? Mm-mm. Why? Clothing? We should be dressed already. 
And they, right, no, but have you ever been to a but, but have, have you ever been to a clothing your swap where you, yeah you, you uh, some yeah. things that and but you swap with someone else like it's true. like maybe something that has tags that you like you thought you would wear but you never or even a handbag yeah, swap I think, or I, think I really love dressing up I really love dressing up and I love going places with women not like mm. a churchy thing I want to go like out an event. a jazz cafe okay. you know where there's music and we are having a blast yes I don't so, think if I was doing it at my house that's the kind of ambiance I would okay. I would put on yeah. for my ladies. You'd have us all dress up. Yeah. That would be fun. I yeah. think um yeah, not not a movie though. Like no, I don't like no, the, no, I don't no, love no. to go to like if it's an event to not go yeah. to a movie because no. then you can't talk. Talk. Exactly. I totally yeah. agree. Yeah, because um, I remember when I go to like Florida, we go to the what's it called something the factory cheese. Oh, cheese cheese cheesecake factory. Cheesecake. But mm-hmm. we all dress up, and then there's a whole bunch of ladies, and we're eating. But it's just that everyone can talk. Everyone has something mm-hmm. to say, and I love that. And it then is we fun go to dress up. A, we're a very casual society. Yeah. How's the Dove chocolate? Is it? Is it like a okay? Let's do you try. like it better <laughs> than the Ghirardelli, or did you not? I, taste I didn't it? taste it, the Ghirardelli like yet. It. I like. So have you been? Um, have you been to San Francisco? I have. Mm. It's good. Like, That's a fun would, place to go mm-hmm. and go to the Ghirardelli shop. Oh, um, there's another well. place I love in San Francisco. I don't even know if it's open anymore. Speaking of, I don't even know. You know Charlie me, and the and chocolate food. Yeah, totally way up course here. <laughs> <laughs> e and O Trading Company, like just one of the best places to eat ever. Okay, so good. Do you guys like to receive chocolate for Valentine's? No, not anymore. After Christmas, no, thank you. Okay, no. That's what we get a whole loaf for teachers. Mm-hmm. Parents just love. I love chocolate, so mm-hmm. I'm just thinking no. you can't go wrong with chocolate. I'm a love letter person. Mm-hmm. Whoever it is, or a letter, or something, just I really don't really ask for much, but I do like I love letter. pen, yeah, okay. words. So my love language is gifting. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay with the flowers. Like that mm-hmm. would be okay. Like that's cool. But I how don't... often do your husbands bring you flowers? That's not even go there. Flowers <laughs> <laughs> often as I'd like. Yeah. Okay, but then do you think they're a waste of money? <laughs> yes, but I still want them. <laughs> I don't think they're a waste of money. No, I think it's it's something that you have to go out and pick and choose. I don't think any kind of gift. Don't you think? As we're talking, I need to show you guys the funniest Valentine's gift that Chris gave me one year. I, it just came to me. Okay. So there's Maybe the you guys brownie. don't think it's that funny, but I opened up the card, mm-hmm. and there was a $5 bill in it. And he said, happy Valentine's here. Go buy yourself something nice. <laughs> well, was, I thought it, it was, was this early on in the marriage? No, this was m- more recent. <laughs> so we're going out on our dates regularly. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I think we had been on a trip that year and had just been home for a week. So, And we said, oh, that trip's Valentine's or yeah, whatever. Yeah. I just thought that was funny. Yeah. But when we were young and so poor and he brought flowers, I just thought, <gasps> Don't spend twenty or forty dollars on flowers because they don't last forever. I would rather have something that was more tangible longer. Right. Mm-hmm. Nice. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think things change as you get older. It's yeah. more the thought. Like, don't just stop by wherever and grab the flowers because <laughs> it's the thing to do. Mm-hmm. Like, if it it takes more time to write the love letter or yeah. do the more meaningful thing mm. or whatever it is just whatever the thought is behind it so the message i'm feeling is you need to be in tune with your yes. your loved one it's and true. if you appreciate love letters it's hopefully true. your husband knows that yeah. but then it's also making the I choice don't know to what do what so i really don't i sometimes apart from anyway we want to <laughs> We should invite our significant <laughs> others on for the next show and <laughs> dig a little deeper. Yeah. We should have brought a man in saying, what, yeah. what do men like what for Valentine's? Because women, women, I think, they're so easy to buy for. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So I mean, what, Ty? I've even tried to write a love letter and it didn't work. Because, <laughs> well, I know he read it, but he always says, you're a great speaker, but don't write. And I'm like, <laughs> Well, all okay, right. Then. I know. So whether it's your spouse or yeah. your girlfriends, yes, 
Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, darling. On that note, (laughs) coming up next on Studio Chatter, we will learn what one woman learned about love from her parents. Don't go anywhere. Studio Chatter, we can learn a lot from watching others, even about love. Our next guest had done just that. Welcome, Lori Shank, to the table. Hi, Welcome. Hi. We're so thrilled to have you here. <laughs> Good, I'm happy to be here. You're a local, a I am. local girl. I am. I love following you on Instagram mm-hmm. because your family has grown yeah, so big and you guys have fun together. And so when we were like brainstorming, who should we have come share their story? We thought of you because you can just feel the love, like in, from the grandkids to your kids to you and Joe and your love for your parents. And so we've just asked that you come and share with us and our viewers, like what you do to make it all tick. Well, my husband's a big key in that because he's all about the party and he loves uh-huh. to spend time together. Um, we love traditions, but they're not your typical traditions. Okay, we like... <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not e- it's not even a list because one thing that I found with a growing family, because we have so many of us now. Okay, wait. So, yeah, stop right there. So tell us about you, just your immediate family. How many kids do you um, have? I have five children and we're expecting our 20th grandchild. No, I, can't, I can't even <laughs> believe that. Yeah. Like you're just like, it's, it's so, chaos. So yeah, and and, and you're not like grandpa. you're not wrapping wow. it up either. Um, no, I mean not quite. <laughs> so we're slowing down though. Yeah, you're slowing down. <laughs> but last year, or was it two years ago? You guys had five in a year. Yes, and this last oh year we had I think four, or five, two. Oh, there's that's yeah. awesome. There's, oh, this one's ten. So. There's 20. Oh, no goodness. Okay, so okay. non typical. Non typical, <laughs> like well, what kind of traditions? Well, I found that when you make a plan and you try and have your typical traditions that you normally do, it ends up being the disappointment mm-hmm. because people change. You, mm-hmm. You're adding families, you're adding different age kids and mm-hmm. stuff. And so you kind of really have to just go with the flow. And really, the only thing that we have in common for mm-hmm. our traditions are that we're present. Mm-hmm. And we're intentional mm-hmm. and we, you know, give them our time and our love. Mm-hmm. And so as long as that activity or time that we spend with them ha- encompasses that, okay. we call that a tradition. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so give us an example. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, example. Um, well, let's go back to my mom and dad. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, my parents, they have a wonderful, beautiful love story. And I've lost both of my parents in the last like year and a half. Mm -hmm. And it's made me and my husband, all of us kind of reflect on what's like important and Mm -hmm. what, I bet what we want to bring into our family and what we want to be known for and stuff. And they were very intentional in the way that they lived. And so that has kind of been a family goal of ours and you know at the end of the day people don't really remember what you said or what yeah, you did it's true. it's how you made them feel exactly yeah, you know absolutely. that's where you're the second person mm-hmm. today that's said that to me really yeah <laughs> write that it's down important. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's important. Uh, so um they they is a set of really good example in the fact that they made a plan and they would follow through with it and it was stuff that they thought that the children would like or this you know the kids or or adults or whatever so they would start with uh, i'm really my goodness no, <laughs> no they'll just good. they'll just slice it yep um it starts with it started with them and some of you have to ask yourself a question i think like what do you want to be intentional about what okay. do you want to be known for mm-hmm. like what kind of parent or what kind of grandparent or what kind of spouse do you want to be do you want to you know be the mm-hmm. the funny one mm-hmm. do you want to be the one that really teaches and you know has you know teaches them and yeah, has there's so many different angles. Angles. Yeah. yeah so if you like are intentional about it right. and sit down and write it down then you accomplish what you want and that kind of happened Recently, with okay. the death of my parents, we're like, we really need to be intentional on what we okay. want to accomplish. And my um, my father and my mother had a lot of great little fun little traditions. My dad was a real jokester, so I love to play pranks. Mm-hmm. We've kind of carried on that tradition. And every holiday or Christmas, we kind of like search on YouTube oh. all the oh. great <laughs> pranks and okay. play them on all the grandkids, and they love it. And that's fun. We love it. So it's 
So what kind of, um, so you talk about your parents, or was it your grandparents, your parents? My parents, yeah. Yes, what was their love affair like? It, the... They, my dad just adored my mom. He passed away one year to almost the hour of when she did. Oh, wow. And I just know that he just needed to be with her. But um, they, when the, both of them passed away and we were going through all of their stuff, we found love letters. Oh, from when they were dating and when they were engaged. And it, they kind of carried on that tradition with our whole family, our whole life. My dad was an undercover vice de- detective and he would come home at like four o'clock in the morning mm. and he'd leave us notes and we would leave him notes. And oh. there were books full of all of these love letters wow. and they were so precious. What a legacy. Mm-hmm. It really was. And the last letter he wrote was for Christmas um, the year before he passed away and he wrote it to all of us children about how he, he said the most important gift that he could give his his children was to love his mom, mm-hmm. love their mom. Mm-hmm. And so the letter was all about that and it was just so precious and oh like there was no doubt that there was love in our home and that's really a big legacy that we, my husband and I want to make sure that we carry on in our That your kids see home. your love. Yes. yes. Okay. Matter of fact, with all those grandkids, we... Um, it can be overwhelming. There's like oh, I so bet. many kids there all the time. And um, the first, when the first grandchild was born, my husband said, "You know what? The weekends are for you and I, and we're together. You can we can play and we can do all these things with the grandkids during the week, and you can babysit. But I want you on the weekends, and that made me feel special. Oh yeah. Wow. So all your grandchildren are here. They are. They wow. live within. Five minutes of me. Oh, One lives next door. Wow. Six wow. live with next door, and two of them live with me. So yeah. Oh, that's oh, amazing. My God. Which really kind of seems to be the opposite, because you would think that the grandkids would get pawned off on the weekends <laughs> when, <laughs> when right? they, yeah, when they want to be out doing their thing. So lucky you. Yes, know. it's all about the play. But then sometimes we end up all together. So mm-hmm. and wow. that's fun too. I've noticed that as my kids have become adults, you. They want to hang out with us, but we want to hang out with them, and it's fun. Yeah. Oh, it's kind absolutely. of like that's the group you want to hang out with. Absolutely. Whereas when you're raising kids, you're just like, oh, let me get, get me out of here. Yeah. Oh, I'm so lucky that they get to grow up next door to you, though, because I grew up next door to my grandparents, and there really is just that little worn path between grandma and grandpa's house when you get to skip back and forth. So I envy it's that. And they, they, so I mean, they probably fun. just love that. So lucky you. It's, lucky them. It's been good. And I still even do, like, craft day and grandma camp and stuff like that just because I like to be intentional in what I'm doing and so I like what to does teach them grandma skills. what does your grandma camp look like I've um, heard of grandma's doing we that do, well I love to craft <laughs> yes <we laughs> and do. my granddaughters love to craft and my grandsons aren't quite old enough to do um, grandma camp yet so um we go up to our cabin and okay. we lock ourselves in there and the parents aren't allowed to come <laughs> and I try and teach them new skills and we cook together and we make crafts together and we read together and I try to you know teach them skills at the same time but okay. the most important thing is just making sure that they know that like I love them and okay. I care about them but so then I get back to this thing of like hey do you do that once a year do you just, but it sounds like you're just more spontaneous. I am. That's kind so of it's not like hey, every March is yeah. grandma camp or <laughs> every Fourth of July we get the kids for a week. Or it's just right. more yes, chill. It's more spontaneous. Absolutely. Okay, I need to be more spontaneous. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah. fun. Oh, well, that's kind of how I am on that. I like to live intentional, but I'm not a great big planner. Okay, either. I like that. Oh, the spur of the moment. So, what's been your favorite Valentine's? To do with my your husband. Favorite or? Valentine's to do with my husband. That you can remember. Okay. <laughs> I know. Yeah. If you asked me that, I would not. Uh, no, <laughs> that's a really good question. Well, we don't like to go out to dinner for Valentine's because it's too crowded. It's so, crowded. Yes. so we always go during, usually go like during, during the, the week. weekend, and like have a night out or whatever. Yeah. But um, we try and do a vacation around Valentine's every mm. year. Last year we were in Hawaii. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. And my daughter was pregnant and I decided to come home earlier and I made it home for the birth by seven minutes. Oh, no. Oh, my word. That's How did amazing. you decide now, to even come home? I don't know. I just had the feeling that I should go home early. So we changed our flights. And oh, when we landed, we got a text that she was in labor. And we drove straight to the hospital. Wow. And he was born seven minutes later. Oh, so my God. Oh, my word. Barely How long. awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me wonder. It definitely just... <laughs> 
Be intentional. I love that yes. word. Yes. Yeah. Plan it. If you want to have a successful, loving family. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Well, you'll need to come back another time, too, and tell us more about Grandma Camp and share some crafting ideas. And yeah. we know that you're yeah. talented in many yeah. different ways. Thanks Thank so much. You. Thank you. Thanks for having so me. Of course. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us for more love stories. Studio Chatter, what are the secrets to a long and happy relationship? Our next guest know a bit about that. Welcome, mm-hmm. Bob and Joanne Wadley, to the Chatter. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We're happy to be here. We're this so is happy exciting. To have you. Yeah. It is, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This couple Thanks that have been married for how many years? We have been married for almost 49 years. Oh, it no will be way. 49 years in March. So, wow. so you're nice. big 5 0. Yeah. Five-0. <laughs> you guys are excited about that. That's even better. So yeah. I want to hear briefly, like, where. This would have been in 1970. Where did you get married? What did your reception look like? We like, got married in Logan. We lived in Logan okay. at the time. Oh. Were you our, there at Utah State? Uh, uh-huh. Okay. And our reception was pretty traditional, basic, and okay. all of our sisters were bridesmaids, and mm-hmm. and all of our you know friends were there, and okay. it was pretty fun. And it's fun to go back and look at those pictures because that brings back a lot of nice memories. We did that not too long. What ago. are some of the biggest changes you've seen in weddings? Mm-hmm. In a forty-year period, well, I think that no, I th- fifty. Yeah, yeah 50 I think receptions are a little more casual, okay. a little bit less formal now. Like you don't even have to dress and, up. You yeah, go to a wedding and you're just in your jeans or shorts, yeah. and off you go. Yeah, and I like it when the bride and groom just stand in one place and you can just go visit with them and visit with other people without having to go through a line. That's what I think. <laughs> good change. Yeah. But we we're pretty traditional when we got married. Okay. So, but how did you meet? So we were meet? we met as we were dance partners for a dance festival, nice. and oh. we actually went to the same high school, but we didn't really know each other in high school. It was two high schools combined to make one bigger one, and so half the school didn't know the other half oh. of the school anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we, I didn't know her, but after I came back from a mission, she had moved into my area, and we were dance partners for. Okay. Oh, dance festival. So we love dancing. It was oh, fun. Do you yeah. still? Oh, yeah. Yes, dance. we do. Yes. What kind of dance? Uh, dancing. Well, ballroom dancing. Oh, okay. yeah. We'd like to go to the medals ball at She's BYU much better. and clap for the oh, performers. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's much better at it than I am. So she <laughs> And she doesn't have two left feet like I am. So. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's fun. So what are some of the things that you enjoy doing together now besides dancing? Or what what keeps the spark alive? Sometimes he'll give me a whirl around the kitchen. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's fun. I I think that, you know, it's different for everybody. You know, what sparks one person doesn't spark another person. But I think one of the keys to success is that you need to have a mindset that you need to work on your marriage. Mm-hmm. When people first get married, mm-hmm. they think, you know, what could be easier than being married to her? She's so beautiful and mm-hmm. <laughs> so fun. And what could be easier than that? Right. But, work to but, him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, as time goes on, they find it's not quite Ooh. so easy. And if you look at marriage statistics, you see that being happily married for a long period of time is one of the harder things people do. Mm-hmm. And so we think that that you just have to make your marriage a priority. It has to be really important to you. And you have to have a mindset that you're going to work on it. And all the time, even, you know, when you're at our age and when you're young, and even when you have young children. How many did you have? We have five children. Okay. And the best gift you can give to your children is for them to have happy, happily married parents. And yeah. so we've always felt like that was important. So we have five children now. We have 20 grandchildren. Wow. And they're kind of scattered all over the country. So we like to go traveling and visit our okay. grandchildren. But we... Go ahead. In October through December, he placed cards throughout the house and had little messages on the cards. And I'd just find them here or there. And it was just so fun. And I that just, was just this past year? Yes. And I just expected them to die out after about two. <laughs> and 
and there were more like 15 or yeah. 12 well, or something. I was just was trying funny. to speak her love language because she has done <laughs> well, that for a long time. Mm -hmm. She's given me little notes and cards and hide them around where we find them. And That's a good man right there so, if you know about love languages. I was just going to say that. Do you know about love languages? Know about and, love and, language. and do you know each other's? Do yeah, you know his yes. love language? Well, yes. so I'm trying to learn how to speak hers. Oh, That's okay, one of our favorite things is to go to marriage retreats mm -hmm. because oh. it puts the spice in life yeah. and it makes it really fun to get ideas from other people. Mm -hmm. And that's been a great thing that we like to do. Okay. And just getting away, even if it's not a for, you know a marriage retreat, which right. we've been six or seven times to the mm -hmm. one up at Aspen Grove that BYU oh, Alumni I Association oh. sponsors. And they're really fun. But just getting away and having some time to yourself and you need to do that, and you need to do it especially when you have children at home. Now we don't have any children at home, and we're away all the time. I was going to say, like the retreat 24-7, isn't it? <laughs> but um, it's also important, I think, to just to be kind, to treat each other with respect and care. And, and I've always felt like marriage is a, is a complex relationship, and if you begin to take it casually, it will begin to deteriorate. So don't ever take it casually. Mm -hmm. Always make your marriage be really, really important to you. I love that. And I think there are a lot of things you, you can do to spice up the day. So even a bland day <laughs> can be fun. Yeah. And I think that's what puts the magic in mm -hmm. life a lot, is to catch them off guard and do something different <laughs> or special or... You need to be a well, little creative. Joanna's very good at that because she's very spontaneous okay. and comes up with... Things that, that are fun, and, and he so, goes along with it. So that <laughs> makes it really fun. Neither one of us are very good at it. We're like, yeah. you want to go to dinner? Yep. Sure. Week after week. So, what are some of your fun things? Can you think well, of any? We, we like to go to dinner too, and sometimes we just like to stay home and watch a video. Mm -hmm. But we like to go to. We love going to live theater, and we do mm -hmm. that quite a bit. And we okay. go to a lot of events at BYU. I'm retired from BYU yes. now, but mm -hmm. we go to a lot of events over there, and we love doing things with our mm -hmm. children and our grandchildren. They've all moved yeah. far away, or, well, most of them. Okay. But, and so mm -hmm. it's a little bit more challenging, but. We love traveling together. We like uh, going to fun places and seeing things. And, and uh, we, we just like interacting with each other. Right. And I think that's an important key. I think, you know, Maybe okay. sometimes it's not what you want to do to go out. And so you can do dinner at home mm -hmm. in different ways like some suggestions in my little book of ideas for dates <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is a safari dinner where you set up a tent in the living room and then put plants all over. Oh my God. <laughs> a Chinese so dinner yeah. where you put pillows on a floor and maybe have a low table or even eat on the floor or mm. an Italian dinner where you have the drippy candles. And the <laughs> Bob, has she wow. Yeah. So, okay. Oh so before God. you even arrived, we were talking about that about Valentine's Day. So who's in charge of the Valentine's Day date? Um, we just, we just sort take of life as it comes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we we have, have to be flexible in our life. <laughs> we don't have a fixed thing of who's in charge. You know, we okay. just, one of us will suggest something and you'll say, yeah, that's Don't great. Don't tell you? Oh, sure. something or, oh. Oh. oh, maybe a surprise. I oh. have to see something. Uh -oh, no, this, this is, is one of our favorite dates. That well, I love not it. a favorite date. Now I can't even. I love find her. I bet, I bet you're the funnest <laughs> grandma too. <laughs> she is a fun grandma. I try. And one time I reached in her <laughs> bag okay. and I found a big butcher knife. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh, he looked at me like, oh, I'm oh, my Lord, look at this. Look how cute. But, been look, she, has, a she has a little meeting and we needed it because <laughs> they didn't have any there. <laughs> Oh. Oh. to prepare the food right. so I needed a quick <laughs> okay. Okay. Quit getting nuts. in my purse <laughs> okay okay we get a can of nuts and this will do two dates or more now <laughs> and we just sit and enjoy one at a time eating these lovely nuts <laughs> and that is so fun it's just easy and just something 
real fun. You can do it while you're watching your favorite movie or sitting mm -hmm. and yeah. talking. Yeah. And that's so easy. I love that and it idea. Has a little so, heart on it. And so for heart Christmas this does. year, okay. yeah. I, gave her a, I gave her a couple of cans of this, but I also gave her a package of dates from the store, you know, dates that you buy at the store, mm -hmm. and then the tickets for four or five different things that we were going to be going to yeah. events. So now wasn't that fun? Oh, so was that we're still working on those. <laughs> It was a date's gift. And, oh, yeah. and our kids yeah. know we like things different. And one of our kids gave us a class to uh, uh, stained, stained glass. 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 Stained oh. glass. So we went and did that and together. So we took we that did. class together. And so now is that fun? That so yeah, it sounds like so it is. So if you put your energies to work on it, uh -huh. You can make life so fun. Mm -hmm. Well, we but have a little something. But you have to you think guys. about it. You have to focus <laughs> on it. To try, wow. Aren't you so we want to thank you guys for coming. We well, that is that. very kind of you. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Yeah. We'd pick you too. We already picked each other. Well, you're good friends you. to have so with much. wonderful ideas yes. and happy 50th coming up next thank year. You. Oh, yeah, thank that's you. a big one. Yeah. That's so neat. Congratulations. Yes. So maybe maybe your kids will maybe yes. join together yeah. and do yeah. something well, wonderful well, for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, there's more studio chatter coming up. Welcome back. We made it. What did we learn? Well, be intentional. I love that word by mm -hmm. Laurie Schenk. I like that too. Yeah. Yes, really mindful of what you're thinking and doing in the home, especially with your spouse in this. Valentine. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, Valentine. What is it? Show. That's it. Valentine's show. It's like, okay. Behind yeah, the scenes you know with Bob and Joanne. <laughs> yes. They shared another idea that didn't make they it on air it. is that they like to read books together. Mm -hmm. Yes. And not even just read, but audio. Yeah. That they That's do that more good. than they watch TV. That's cool. So, of course, I love that idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Love that. The reading. Interestingly enough, Keith and I just downloaded a book together that mm. we're going to listen to together. Can you share which book it is? Or uh, do you even know what it is? I do know what it is, and I've just drawn a blank because you asked me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it'll come to you in the uh, next yeah, I could go. I could look on my phone if I had my phone nearby. Mm. But I know. I was going to bring a, a book called Love Day. It was from the movie Fireproof. Did you ever watch that? In fact, it was a Christ, one of the Christian movies by the Hendrix. Anyway, um, great movie but about two couples and they were, you know, on the brink of separating and then they came together. Anyway, they come up with a book for 40 days. you got to read it and read it together and do an activity. Mm -hmm. oh. And supposedly, like, therapists will use it. And if you do it every single day by the end of the 40th day, because you have to be kind, loving, you know, mm -hmm. do different activities for each other mm -hmm. at the end of it just supposed to bring you okay. really close so love that's dare. love dare yeah okay. by i think it's Stephen hendrix anyway if you put love dare it's a big movement it was anyway a couple okay. years ago so that's my thing that i'd like to do you know because it is putting that spice back in your relationship yeah. Well, I yeah, think you, you got know, little ones. You, yeah, well, you, I mean, you definitely go through seasons mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. in your relationship, you know, when you're yeah. raising the little ones right. and in professional life and it takes one spouse away or there's things going on in the home and you could obviously see that they're enjoying each other's company and retirement. Oh, with the wives. Yeah. Yes, and enjoying that time together. So it's not kids. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing to yeah. you know that couples stay years. together fifty right. years. Yeah. And because what Bob specifically said is, you have to work on it. Yes, you yeah. can't look at someone that has almost a fifty-year marriage I and think, think oh, they're so lucky. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. because you know they had hard times, but. They worked on it. Mm -hmm. They went through it. Yeah. What did you love today, Natasha? Well, even Lori, I love that too. That you know, we'll give as much time to the grandkids yes, during yeah. the week, but on the weekends, you so know, that awesome. time is for you, honey. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I loved even this didn't make it uh, on camera either. But she was saying she double booked herself tonight. She had to oh, be yes. here, and she was supposed to be going to a meal preparation class. And she's like, "Oh darn, I'm not going to be able to make it, honey. Will you go to the meal preparation class?" And he's like, "Sure." And he, was, he went to the class oh, wow. for her. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so you just hear those things. So that's that's really awesome. So that is I good. think to just 
maintain and move forward and, and work on those things. And I'm celebrating 10 years this month. Congratulations. So that's, that's kind of exciting. And that's long. a big one. It is. And uh, I'm excited for our book report. That's next in, yes. in a couple of weeks. Yeah. The title? Where Be- we were. Before we were before yours. Before we were before, before we, we were, were yours. Yes. Before we were yours. <laughs> yes. It's, it's kind of a tongue twister. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah. but I did find myself yes. kind of hiding away to right. catch up with I. It's, it's a fascinating yeah, It read, really is. is. Oh, you guys. And kind of a love story, too. Yeah. Like, I really love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. All yeah. right. Happy Valentine's. Yeah, Happy Valentine's. 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 Yes. Love Enjoy. is in the air. Yes, indeed. Thanks for being here with us. We hope you enjoyed the chatter. Do tell a friend about us. <laughs>